Oh, Lemon Scala, don't you worry, I am on time. Uh, okay, so we're doing Wario World. And now I have actually streamed this game before, and I did a review on it, which you could go check out. But um, this was a Patreon suggestion for this month, and it's for the Japanese version, which I knew about, but I've never played myself. Uh, and truth be told, I love this game, so I actually don't mind playing it. I actually own a copy of this game for GameCube, and it's it, it's it's kind of pricey. It's it's not a very cheap one. <sighs> okay, sorry, my chair was being weird here. All right, what do we got here? Konoge, konoge, muno fire och kusei kusei. Shimaska Konge Mono File. It's probably saying, Do you want to create a file? And we have Hi, which means yes, or Ie, which means no. So let's say Hi. Hajime Kara. Hajime. I know Hajime is like begin or commence or start or something like that. Hajime Kasukara. Anyway, we don't really you don't really need to read in this game. I'm just I'm just doing it for for the my sake because I've been studying Japanese. Stato. That's start right there, Sutato. And that's Kan Ser. Hmm. Kan Ser? Console? So there's oh cancel cancel start and cancel okay all right and uh <laughs> we'll, we'll we gotta watch the story opening of course zono mukash i can't read all this but basically uh there was this evil jewel that's slowly been collecting the greed of people to slowly regain its power and of course Wario stumbled upon it added it to his horde it had Wario had all this greed emanating throughout his freaking castle Wario lives in a castle by the way yeah Wario's loaded uh, and so it basically triggered the jewel to come to life and I believe he steals all of Wario's treasure and just kind of like turns his home just into these crazy dimensions and all these like creatures and stuff something like that see there's there's wario just that's just what he does all day he just sits and laughs at his has his horde right greed eating demon jewel hit the jackpot with oh and then the jewel woke up was triggered I think Wario is canonically the richest uh, Nintendo character, if not the richest Mario character. I mean, this dude's loaded. And then he has his own video game company, too. Alright, here we are. And he could do this. <laughs> Can Mario do this? I don't think so. Would we want to see Mario do that is another question entirely. Look, Wario starts off with four hearts. That's one more than a lot of other protagonists. Um, what was I gonna say? I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I have already 100% uh, of this game the first time that I streamed this, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just kinda gonna do a base playthrough. 
Uh, which means it'll uh, we'll probably get through it pretty quickly. Because this isn't a very long game if you're not going for all the stuff. I'm not going to try to read every little thing, but... I know there's like one of the WarioWare games where he was like broke, which I thought was funny. Waku, Waku, Fuku Fuku, or was it Fuku Fuku? I don't have time to read certain things, but I'll still pick up some collectibles just for fun. But the, especially the the later levels of the game, they do start to get pretty tricky to find. Uh, I think of my last playthrough of this I did the first couple wor worlds in like two and a half hours or something like that oh my god I threw him onto the button that was a complete fluke but that's awesome I don't know if I've ever done that before holy crap like not in that way you made it Slayer so we're playing the Japanese version because the Japanese version of this game actually uh, came out after the American version and they update the final boss fight to make it uh, a bit better and that's honestly like the one problem I have with the original version of the game is that the final boss fights a little lackluster but yeah also it was a patreon suggestion from Duskus which is the real reason why I'm, why I'm playing it but uh I was a little concerned about how many people would be interested in me playing this but since i've done it before but i do love this game i think this is a really underrated uh gamecube title i think it's really fun i would love if nintendo did another 3d wario game at some point i don't know if they ever will we, we haven't even gotten a wario land game since the wii it's been like almost 20 years now But yeah, this is really fun. Like, I really like this game. I feel like a lot of people don't even know this game exists. Because you have these outside segments. <clears throat> the music's great, of course. The Wario music's always great, though. You have these outside segments where you're going around and it's kind of like a one side perspective, like a doll's house perspective, I usually call it. Sort of like in like Little Nightmares or like um, Crash, early Crash Bandicoot games. But once we get inside of one of the challenge rooms, which you'll see shortly, there's a, whoops, there's a whole different style of gameplay. You can absorb coins with his big mouth because It's actually a good thing we fell down there because there was that button. Oh, which was actually for that treasure. Now we're not, like I said, we're not going to get all the treasures. Because I already 100% of this before. But, um, we'll, we'll at least pick up some along the way. You tried speedrunning Minecraft, it took you 18 hours? Oh, jeez. Yeah. I imagine uh, Minecraft's one of those games where it, uh, I can imagine it could go really quickly or really slowly depending on if luck, right? Like depending on what you run into. Now here's the challenge areas, and this is interesting because I feel like in a lot of games, this would feel like a side thing that's not necessary. This is actually the only thing that is mandatory for progression is you want to get these, uh, these, these, uh, red diamonds. So these rooms are very vital. You don't need to do all of them, but you gotta do a good amount of them. I probably should try to complete some of the Golden Warrior statues too, that's true. Because that is how you get your hearts filled up. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty simple, basic little game, but it's really fun for what it is. And I think the best part are, is the bosses. There's a lot of really fun bosses in this game. Also, in these rooms, you actually have full camera control. Uh, unlike the outside areas, which is very useful because, as you can see, 
you're gonna you're gonna want to be turning the camera around. The gameplay actually plays really well. It has very tight platforming, which you probably would be surprised that. I don't know, you, you think of like Wario as like a brute. Uh, why the Japanese version? Oh, actually I just explained that. I'm sure Duskus will, will explain it again in the chat. Uh, Cubic Swark Q said, hey, next time can you play Mario Wonder? I do plan on playing Mario Wonder. I am gonna play that. Uh, sometime in the near future, hopefully. Wario! Botan... Botan o... Yu... Ko... Nitsuka... Tsuteru kai. I don't know what that means. But he said Wario. <laughs> I understood that part. Yeah, it's one of the rare examples, Futility, actually, where... The the American the US version came out first. Well, I don't know if it's a rare example, but it, it, uh, the the US version of this game. Oh, I actually broke the wrong one. I should have jumped and checked. But you can just reset easily by leaving and coming back in. Uh, yeah, the the Japanese version of this game came out months after the American version, and so they had more time to add in some stuff. That the US version, mainly just the final boss fight, like Duskus was saying. There we go. Okay. And I think they knew it too. Because even, even, I've always felt the final boss fight was a little lackluster. But overall, the, the this game has some really fun bosses. Like, both in just like how you fight them, but also just the bosses themselves are just, they're just funny. Look at Wario's power. These guys don't stand a chance. But actually I should let him live so I can throw him over here. Yeah. This game's crazy, like the moves you could do. Like, watch this. <laughs> it's like a spinning freaking spike tombstone. Was there a platform back there that might have triggered? Well, we're, we're not we're not focusing on the treasures. That's not the important part. I can't help it. Like in certain games, like Wario games especially, like you want to collect the optional treasure. And this game does have fun optional treasure because each area has like a different theme to it. It's okay, Lemon Scholar. Wario time is acceptable. Oh, this one could be a little... There we go. Yeah, I don't know why the American version came out first. I don't know if they were rushing it out for some weird reason or just... I have no idea. But, uh... The... Japanese version had more time to just add on to that final boss fight, and so they did. So the theme of the treasures in this first level seemed to just be uh, gemstones, right? Because that's a ruby? That says a ruby right there, actually. Oh, Opal. Oparu. That's Opal. Se Sapphire. 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 Diamond, D diamond, diamond. So yeah, the first, the theme of the first treasure. It's always fun figuring out the theme of the treasures. Funnily enough, your ending, th the uh, quality ending you get. This is a game with multiple endings, like Luigi's Mansion, is completely based on how many of these guys that you free. Uh, and that's, other than that, they just kind of give you tips. The Wario pause screen is pretty funny, just nah, 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 nah. And I think if you wait like 10 minutes or something, Wario goes, sorry. 
he actually he actually apologizes if I if I remember correctly. You might have to wait longer than ten minutes even. Fifty minutes. Okay, there you go. It takes that long for Wario to actually feel bad. Ah, oh, I. Holy crap! I never knew if you could survive if you could like not fall down, because you're supposed to fall down that ladder though, because they're introducing you to the the rhinocorn pit or whatever it's called, uh, where you get punished for falling off ledges basically. And we have enough rubies so we could go straight ahead and fight the first boss. I'm gonna go over here just real quick just to grab this stuff because um, normally I could just go straight to the boss right now and I'm gonna do that for most of the levels but I might as well check some of these levels they might have uh, some gold statue pieces which uh, you need to collect to, to get extra hearts this one doesn't have one unfortunately There's a purple W before the bridge. Yeah, the platforms are always just um, treasures, if I remember correctly, like the colorful platforms or the chests appear on. So that's, I don't think that's where we would find gold Wario pieces. Someone could correct me if I'm wrong. I say that as I'm hitting a button anyways, it's just to give me treasure. But I can't help it, look at it. It's just so tantalizing. The American Wario World ad is so goofy, says Angela. Is that the one where Wario's like hypnotizing you? Or is that a, a Wario Land? Like you will play Wario. I am hypnotizing you because I'm Wario. That's something I do now, apparently. Ow. That hurt. I think that was the first damage I've taken. Uh, I'm missing two gold statue pieces, and we should probably get them, since this is, like, gonna be one of the easiest places to find all the gold statue pieces. Oh, okay, that's Warrior Land. I forgot that there was even this area up here. I'm starting to question if this wasn't also added, <coughs> added to the Japanese version. Okay, I'm just gonna jump down here. We're gonna end up getting all the treasure anyways. I think if you get all the treasure in a level, that's how you unlock some uh, WarioWare minigames. Huh, I wonder where I missed the t There's two gold statue pieces I missed. It's not over here. Waz seductively. Oh, he's whispering to a politician, okay. Yeah, Wario has some crazy- I'm gonna check real quick. There, there's probably like a tree I didn't climb up. Oh, you know what? You can't go this way anyways, you have to take the- You know what? It's fine. Let's just go fight the boss. If I really need some more hearts, I can come back and look for the gold pieces later. The first boss is very basic. Because of this dude, I don't know what the heck he is. He's like a, like a humanoid frog or something. He has quite a walk, doesn't he? When he's not doing his flailing arm move. And with the bosses, you have an option of how to hurt them. You could do this. That works pretty well. Look at this walk! <laughs> I love that. That's so funny. Yeah, usually how these bosses work is you have to kind of just figure out how to leave them open for an attack, like that. And another option, you could just do a mega toss that deals damage. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Little, there's a little bit of like physics play in this, too, at times. What? He died? Wait, wait, wait! Something killed him and it wasn't me. What What happened? 
He took like, somehow I hit him for like two hits of damage. Did anyone see what happened there? I think the way I threw him, he like got hurt and then fell off and got hurt again. Alright. <laughs> I've never seen that happen before either. We're, we're learning a lot of new things today. Nintendo should port Wario Worlds or make a new 3D Wario game. That'd be awesome. That was Frogenstein's monster. I know, we're figuring out... That wouldn't be the first time I accidentally figured out a speedrun strat. I did that in a... Uh... What's that game called? Onimushu. Onimusha? Onimusha. I figured out a speedrun strat for this one area. By complete accident. And I was looking up speedruns of the game and nobody does it as fast as I've done, like, that specific room. In fact, was saying I should go into, like, the, the Onimusha speedrun server and, like, tell them my... my trick. So if I were to- if I fell off right here, I would go to the Unithorn, that's what it's called, I think. I would go to the Unithorn's lair. Where, basically, Wario will get attacked by Unicorn Rhinos who steal his money every time they hit him. Cause it, cause Wario doesn't- Wario's can't truly die, he can only be hurt by having his money taken from him. Look at this by the way, you can just spin one enemy into other enemies. How fun is that? Really, really fun combat system. Okay. And sometimes you use it to solve puzzles. Like this. How fun is that? Good luck. Okay, sometimes for certain uh, of these rooms, you gotta use an- you have to break it open with an object or an enemy. The metal ones. And now here's the first platforming room. The other ones we've done before were uh, more puzzle based, for the most part. These, these outside areas tend to be a little more platforming based. Which I think they're trying to say that I could just technically do this if I wanted to. But, you know, you could also play it safe. Finally! Barely the first gold piece we found. Now you see what I mean how this one's a little more platforming based, like there's, you know, there's platforms moving around. <laughs> to the gulag with you. There should be a Wario game. Uh, oh, the sun's rays change the value of zeros and ones to make the boss's health go down. <laughs> That's like a cartridge thing that would happen, right? Uh, the bad guy steals all of Wario's money. I mean, this guy kind of does that. He could like converts all of his treasure into these little worlds and like enemies and stuff. Like everything that we're dealing with right now, basically was converted out of Wario's hoard. If you had a choice of bringing in back a Nintendo, which one would you bring back? Uh, oh, F Zero for sure. I've been, like, we haven't had a new F-Zero game since the GameCube. And f is my favorite racing game by far. Like, I'm not even super into most racing games, but I love F-Zero. And it's a, it's a shame they haven't brought it back yet. Like, they really need to. There's really no excuse. Miyamoto tried to say, like, oh, I need to come up with a gimmick. And then I'll make a new one. But no, you don't. <laughs> Just make another- just make a good racing game. And- and if you do really need a gimmick, if you insist... Okay, uh, how about some like... Like, some bounty hun hunter side missions where you like... Earn money to- to uh, upgrade your vehicle. Like, it's so obvious. It's so obvious. But, you know... Nintendo's weird. Oh, you meant a Nintendo console to bring back. 
Well, it's not that I would want them to bring back a previous console because I don't think they need to necessarily go backwards. But there are things about some of the earlier consoles that I like better than current ones. Like, I much prefer the the Wii Remote and, and uh, Nunchuck to the Joy-Cons. I think they feel a million times better. Um... Uh, the GameCube controller is amazing. I love the GameCube controller. But I mean, other than that, I don't think they necessarily need to... They would have to necessarily bring back an old console or anything. But definitely elements of the old consoles I... ...miss. Oh, he's dead. Oh, what's this over here? Da -da. Fun little enemy. Look at this. He's just a wall with a face. <laughs> this poor guy. It's actually one of the greatest Spider-Man villains of all time, the wall. Oh, look, it's a Dark Souls game. I opened up a shortcut. Haha. <laughs> There is a gold Wario piece down there. How do I get that? Hmm. See if we can approach it from over here first. Not quite. I must have to go even lower. Also, I don't know what the deal is with these gold orbs, but it's just funny to me. Wario just latches right onto them. Da, 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 da. Whoops! Oh no, the Unithorn's Lair! Okay, so here's the Unithorn's Lair. You need to find the escape... ...but, uh, spring... ...before they take all my money. There we go. Oh, I love Warrior Land 4. That, that's another one of my favorite. That was like a childhood game of mine. That was the first and only Wario Land game I ever played growing up. And I just barely got to play all the other ones more recently. Whoops! Oh my goodness. Can't believe I fell down again. Now I think it's in a different box every time. Fortunately. Ow. I guess stepping in the water also hurts Wario. So it, it must be special. Kind of looks like Mercury, actually, now that I'm looking at it. it. The way it's, like, reflecting light. Maybe it is the same box every time. Okay, let's try that again and, like, be more careful. Egg solid! Oh, wait, I'm on the left side now. How did that happen? Wait a minute, did I just go back to the start by accident? What? The wall isn't down anymore, what happened? I just unlocked the freaking shortcut. Oh, that was a lower wall. Oh, I see. I see. After having played all the Warrior Lands, I definitely still still uh, like four the most, but the other ones are fun too. The Unithorn Spring is random, okay. I wasn't sure because it almost looked like it was the same one then. I like when when you pick up a garlic health and where it goes, okay. It's like he's relenting. Could you do one stream Wario Land 4 one day? I actually have streamed Wario Land 4. 
you could uh, definitely check that out on my channel. Whoops! That was the first one I streamed because it was my favorite and it was the one that I grew up with. That really looks like it's it's in the same spot every time. Are you sure that's not like a... That might not be something that like the Japanese version has like a... Like they decided to make the unicorns escape under the same box every each time in a certain level. Because it's starting to look that way. Could just be a coincidence though. You guys are too little to swing. There we go. Good luck. Isn't Wario so nice telling his friends good luck as he throws them? What more could you ask for from a friend? Oh, I need to jump from here to there, maybe? Hmm. Ah! How do I land? Oh, hang on. There we go. I underestimated Wario's hops there for a second. just going right now. There we go. Uh... No, I think that's... It used to be Prime Tells, aka Turbo Tells. No, I don't think that's a Sally Acorn guy. I think that's someone else. Now, these rooms are so basic to start off with, but they get really crazy later on. There's like some puzzles I could never figure out as a kid. Yeah, so the Black Jewel absorbs greed, futility, and like it was sealed away for a long time, but then when Wario got a hold of it and brought it home to all of his horde, the, there was so much like greed within Wario's castle just emanating that the, the, uh, the diamond was able to just resurrect itself. Well, I would have also preferred Waluigi to be added to Smash Bros. other than most of the other DLC characters. But I wasn't upset about Sora being added like everyone else. I don't even play Kingdom Hearts. Like, I've never played Kingdom Hearts before, but I didn't realize how many people hated the character. <laughs> I thought it was like, oh, that's a really popular Sony character. I, I guess that makes sense. And then everyone else was like, what? No! I had I had no idea all this time. I mean, isn't that better than if they just was like Fire Emblem character number 20? Like imagine if the final DLC character was just another Fire, Fire Emblem character. Yeah, Wario games in general are really, really awesome. Like, I love Wario Land, I love this, I love WarioWare. You can't go wrong with Wario, is what I've learned in life. I did not have to do that. 
And I almost springed myself out without grabbing the goodies, too. But isn't that one of the best part of platformers when you, you're able to do things that you don't necessarily have to do, but it makes the game more fun? What was that purple? Was that purple back here? No, okay. Sometimes you gotta keep an eye on like which colored platforms you've already seen, so that if you find a switch... Oh wait, that... the other one was a whole different switch. Oops, I need someone. I need a big someone. There we go. You'll do. Look at this precise Wario platform, and you can't get much better than that. Look at this strategic use of camera. Oh! And then I should have moved it back because I didn't realize depth perception. Sometimes you want to go to the side of this row. There we go. Yeah! Oh, I see. This is gonna open up the fence so I can climb up the ladder. I've got it! Look at this Blastoise up here. Oh my god, I found it <laughs> immediately! He's not mocking you, he was just- he was just saying, oh that's your backstory, basically. But hang on, I gotta check now, I gotta check under all of these, cause there might be a gold... There might be a gold Wario statue, so I'm actually a Watch, I'm gonna check under all of them and there's not gonna be a gold Wario statue. There it is, there was- it was there. Okay, I'm not a fool. Hey, you weren't being marked. Utility was just saying like it was your lord dump, like that's your your that's that was like your backstory. Do we okay, I was just about to say we got we ought to be to the boss. Just about now. How many gold pieces do I have? Oh, I'm only missing one. So if the, if there's one more gold piece in this area, then we'll be able to get a health upgrade here. Yep, there it is. Why why does everyone in the chat just get along and let's talk about Wario? How about that? Sound good? Because we're about to fight everyone's favorite boss. Oh no, wait, that's the next one I'm thinking of.
This is actually one of like two games that I have a... I, I got a strategy guide for just so I could see like all the little... Uh... I don't know what it is, like I really enjoy strategy guides because I like that they have like bios for the characters and like bosses and levels and stuff. And like one, one of my favorite parts of this game is the bosses. So naturally I had to get the strategy guide for this. Oops, I'm actually, <laughs> I might started zoning out and now I'm got to be careful. Okay. okay, we want to back off when he's doing the uh, scythe attack. We want to get him when he's spitting. There we go. There's kind of like an illusion going on sometimes with the quicksand where it's hard to tell. Ah, almost! There we go. This is like a rare boss where you actually don't use like those finishing moves on him to deal damage. You just kind of punch him a few times. Your favorite boss is until World 3? Oh, is it the Zombie Magician? Because that's probably my favorite boss too, actually. Look at, we got a gold statue, which means we get half of a heart. <laughs> Alright, so I'm actually going to go back to the first level real quick to just see if I could find those other two Wario, gold Wario statues real fast. Since it's the first level, it's like the f fastest level to get through. Oh, the bull dude is your favorite. Interesting. Isn't his name like something briefs? Because he wears briefs. I never really realized that he mimics Wario's moveset, but I guess you're kind of right. Okay, I'm going to have to climb up like every little thing just in case. Yeah, okay, nothing up there. Okay, maybe... Oh, I've already been down here. Okay, so I think it's gotta be past this point. Okay, this is all that's up here. It's probably gotta be a tree somewhere that I missed that I could climb up or something. Huh, you know what, the, the other thing that there's a possibility that there was some of these underground areas that I missed gold warrior statues in, but it's not very common that I would do that. Yeah, like this one's, I didn't miss it. Maybe I need to like... Hmm. Okay, that, there's a platform I never hit the button for. Oh! I don't think I ever went left up here, huh? Ah, here we go. Yup, yup. There's a whole area up here that I didn't go to. That's what it is. Sweet. That means there's a red ruby in here as well, which we don't need anymore, but might as well grab it. All right, Mario Sonic, you have a good sleep. Thanks for dropping in.
Utility, did you say a WarioWare Turbo earlier? Were, were you talking about like the gold, whatever it's called? Oh, there it is. Sweet. And there's the button we were missing. Damn it, I guess I might as well go get the treasure. How many treasures am I missing? Only two. Because it's just right here. Might as well grab it. Well, if I remember correctly, if you get all the treasures, it, it gives you a... It lets you play one of the micro games from WarioWare, right? Is that what it is? Alright, wait a second. How would you- Oh, this must exit the level. I'm not used to going back into a level after I've finished it, so I don't know. Whoa! So you can refight the bosses. I never even knew that. Interesting. Yeah, because usually when I play this, I will just 100% the level before I go to the boss. That's like the first thing I do. You know what's funny? I actually had a GameCube, a uh, GBA to GameCube link cable. I think I gave it to my friend though. Cowabunga? Uh... Did you say that because this guy looks like a mutated ninja turtle? Is that the joke? Well, now he's dead. It's okay because we're gonna fight Otto's favorite boss next. Another fun thing about this game, it's already cool that it has so many bosses. What on top of that? Uh, you you so every level has a boss at the end, and each world has three levels. But then after you do the first two levels, you just go straight to the final boss of the world. Like you don't even have a level; you just go straight from the second level boss to the to the final boss of the world. Is the next boss Birdo? Uh, close. You'll see in a second. Otto, I'm sure this will be a dream come true for you if you were in Wario's place. Alright, here we go. <laughs> it's a... What appears to be a giant lizard or dinosaur in lingerie. In women's lingerie. I, I don't have an explanation for this. I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, whoops, I messed up there for a second. I need to grab onto the tail if I can. Whoops! I'm goofing up now, hang on. There we go. And then you do this, and that knocks her out. Is this a gender swap King K roll? Uh, I think, <laughs> I think, I think her name's Dino Mighty or something. Uh, I think she's a little different than King K roll, let's be honest here. Let's not, let's, let's give credit where credit's due. Whoops. Damn it. There we go. Wario's like freakishly strong by the way. I mean look at this. Look at that. Freaking spike tombstone this thing. Whoops, I looked at the chat. 
Yeah, this game's a little short, but I love it. I mean, they should have made a sequel to this by now. Like, come on. Well, now she just hurt herself that time. I didn't even do that. Haha, -ha, gotcha. Oh, where am I? Oh, the way she turns her head up, I forgot about that. Good luck. Oh no, I forgot about that. You don't want to grab onto that one. I, I almost went to it too instinctively because it was a golden orb. Almost got Wario eaten right now. Wait, I want to wait for her this time to, like, turn her head. Wait, wait for it. Ah, uh, look at that! <laughs> Why did she do that? See ya! Exploded. Hey, we got all the uh, the wood elves, and we got all the gold pieces, and that's basically the important stuff. Although it's fine if we don't get the perfect ending this time, because we got the perfect ending last time, so. It'll just be different. So we got one of the four pieces to the chest, which unlocks the final boss fight. All right. Ah ha ha ha. That's how Wario laughs in Japanese. Whoops. Oh, I mean, that was a speedrun tactic. I did it on purpose. All right. Now, hey, at least this world is more themed around Halloween. Look at this. We're, we're in a spooktacular or whatever it's called. I think the first place is like Excitement Central. I'm number one. Ato no Kahera. I can't read that. Here we go. Uh. As a kid, he thought it was crazy that it spooked your world so really. Yeah, Pac-Man world is the complete opposite, where the spooky world's the last place you go to. But it kind of makes sense, because Pac-Man's enemies are ghosts, right? So, look at this, you have another unique enemy here, you have this giant skeleton hand. Now the game does show its budget, for the fact that you do see palette swaps of the base enemies a lot. But it's fine, they, they, they're fun about it, at least like the, the skins are changed enough. That, you know, keeps things interesting. Because these are clearly like, like the dinosaurs from the first area, except they're skeletons now. It fits for the theme. What is this? I don't know. Oh! Huh, I forgot those. Oh, this is... Hang on, I think I remember. And then you jump up here. There it is. Yeah, I guess most games would have the spooky world set later, wouldn't it? Uh... Mario's number one. Yeah, it's kind of beat em up esque, but but it's like a beat em puzzler because you you tend to use the enemies 
uh, as a way to progress a lot of the time. Oh boy. Oh no, I should have grabbed one of those to use on this thing. That's fine. There we go. Have a rotten day. It is kind of an everything game, yeah. Oops. I'll just use this. You know how, like, Charles Martinez got replaced recently? And I think his replacement does a really good Mario and Luigi impression. But from what I heard of the Wario one, it's like, man, I really wish they could have at least kept him doing the Wario one, because I feel like that's going to be a hard one to... to, uh... It's going to be hard to match his Wario, I think. If you had unlimited power, would you be Wario? <laughs> I don't know if I could, uh... I don't know if I could handle Wario's... being Wario. I mean, it's a... it's... it's a... It's a tough job if you think about it. Just think about all the garlic he has to eat... to stay in shape. Wario does work out though. If you look at his idle animations like in Wario Land 4, he'll pull out weights, start doing some reps, or he'll pull out like a little like a jump rope. Wario's actually in pretty good shape. A lot of people probably assume that he's just you know, he's he's out of shape, but no, he he's pretty fit. He just happens to I guess he eats a lot, so he's also he's just a big guy too. Yeah, he has big overalls to fill, that's a good way of putting it. Oh, that's the wrong way. You gotta follow the spiral. Whoops. I need a new enemy. You know what? You might be able to get up there without... Yup! Look at that. Beautiful. Isn't that satisfying? He could jump while you're picking something up. I don't even know how that's physically possible. Oh, the, the root up top? Yeah. Sounds about right. Oh, I was supposed to go the other way. I'm a dummy. Of course. It would be too simple if... Oops. Also, how nice is that? If you fail in one of these, like you fall off, it just immediately resets you. You don't even get punished for it. It's already enough of a punishment that you have to redo it. I gotta check this just in case. It's probably just money though. Oh, or health. I did notice there was a spot up there, but I think I need to get to it first. Let's see, this might lead to it. Uh, maybe not. Let me, let me, let me go back and look real quick. Because I saw that, yeah, there's an area- Oh, I see. I missed this. Oh, but there's this wall here, that's why. Yeah, so we do need to approach it from the right somewhere. That, that, I must have saw the wall there, and that's why I-, I I wasn't trying to go back up there. Yeah, so from here we can probably... Yeah, 
Yeah, here it is. Oop, hang on. Let's grab this. Yeah, well, sometimes you can't see the wall. What? I didn't even know they could grab you like that. Statue of me, my favorite. Oh, I'm dead. Black Shibari doesn't die. Whoops. Oh, you gotta remember, Warrior doesn't die. Whoops. You know what? I should turn the camera to this mode. You really gotta utilize that camera. That's why they give you the camera control in this in these areas. Oh I made the jump around! How sick is that? It's so satisfying you're able to do stuff like that in this. Some games would be too restrictive. They put like invisible walls and stuff. Hey, you're not meant to do that. But it looks like the player might be able to pull it off, so let's put an invisible wall. That's never any fun, is it? Yeah, let players be good players. Let us find your fun exploits. That's like when Nintendo patched out the backwards long jumping stuff in Mario, the later version of Mario 64. It's like, why? It's fun, you have to go out of your way to do it. Most people wouldn't know how to do it. So like, if you're gonna patch stuff out, patch stuff out that Things that negatively affect the players, not positively. Oh, there was another door up there. I should have went through first, actually. Do that again. This game had a poor QA development cycle. Uh, it had a great fun cycle. Whoops. Forgot, you can't really control your direction when you're cannonballing in the air. At a certain point in the other, definitely in the last two worlds, I'm not even going to be doing this stuff. I'm going to be just focusing on getting to the end and fighting the bosses, honestly. Alright, so once we're up here... Oh no, I fell off anyways. Dang it. Um... Hmm. But that door up there probably- hang on a second. Maybe- What's even up there? There's a chest, there's a button. Yeah- oh, I could just go up there from here. I, I didn't need to get there from the outside. There we go. We were always overthinking it. Now, can anyone guess the theme of the treasures for this area? Let's see. Shokurai. Hmm. Shokurai. Shokurai. Gino Shokurai. Gino Shokurai. Mori noi. Sui sho da dama. Uh, I don't know what the theme is exactly. Fortune telling? 
Oh, that's a good. That, yeah, that's probably it. Cause there was that that uh, there was the mystical orb of fortune telling. I could just be saying gibberish and you'd fully believe I'm reading Japanese. Yeah, but that was all hiragana, which means that it's actually Japanese words, and I didn't know any of those. But when it's katakana, sometimes I know what it is, because a lot of times katakana uses uh, loan words, which is a lot of English. So, the second line here, it says, Jai, Jaya Sotos... Sotosan da giant. Oh, giant. So su swing. Giant swing. Giant swing. So, because I'm, I can read the katakana and that second line, and it's using English as a loan word. I can read that that says giant swing. But when you have hiragana, like the bottom line, or the top line, jitsuha, I can read it, but I don't know what it means, because it's Japanese, it's just, it's just some Japan. it's Japanese words. Does that make sense? So if you learn katakana, how to read katakana, suddenly there's a lot of words that you actually, you can read and be like, oh, I know what that says. Which is really fun. Whoops. Oh no. I thought he was dead. But it's okay, because in Wario World, if you die, you can just pay money and come back to life. So Otto, what you're saying is that Odyssey is almost as good as this? Like, not quite, but almost? Yeah, I think that sounds about right. Okay. Oh. A black step there. What's up, Wario World? Look at what we're doing. We're doing a great game right now. This is one of my favorite GameCube games. Ow. Jesus. There we go. Training to learn hiragana for a bit, but then I was seeing that a lot of stuff in Japan mixed in kanji too, and I got overwhelmed. Oh yeah, I haven't even learned kanji yet. Kanji is like the craziest one. Kanji is crazy because it's literally just a symbol, a whole symbol just for one like word, and like each word has its own kanji. Like it's pretty wild. That's kind of simplifying it, but like essentially. I feel like Japanese is very easy to learn how to speak, though. Uh, kind of in the sense that it's it's a it's a phonetically consistent language. So once you learn how to pronounce things, it's it's pretty easy to know how to pronounce any new thing you you learn. Unless it's like a really long word, sometimes it takes me a second to like sound it out. But for the most part, it's probably easier than a lot of other languages. Like, Chinese is uh, definitely a lot harder than Japanese spoken. Because Chinese is a tonal language. Which means you need to, like... You can't just say the word right. You have to, like, change your tone. You need to make your tone go up and down. Like, saying, like... Sue? 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 There's, like, four different ways you could, like, end a sound that would completely change the meaning of what you're saying. Whereas in Japanese it's it's just flat, like it's 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 not a tonal language. Mario Odyssey knew people would figure out stupid tricks like that would hide coin piles up in the spots. Oh yeah. Uh no I loved Odyssey. That was a really fun game. Uh -oh. 
Been trying to learn Russian, but all the backwards R's keep throwing me off. So we just got, we found like another picture, it looks like. Okay, she don't know. Okay, she don't know. You could look look it up, like if I say a word in Japanese and then you could Google it and... Because I don't know what that means. Or like here, Mori Noe. So M-O-R-I-N-O-E. It looks like a mirror maybe? It's like a broken like green mirror though. Mori Noe. But I, but uh... Other word, I, I'm still learning the how to read the characters. So I don't know a lot of like actual like Japanese words yet, except the very basic ones. Like pretty much everyone knows like Ohio gozaimasu, uh, Arigato gozaimasu, uh, Somimasen, stuff like that. You know the first syllable is the sound uh, ah or e. Eh. Because in, in Japanese, the letter A would be an AH sound. And the letter E would be an A eh sound. Uh, oh hey Double O, what's the main difference between this and the English one? Oh, the final boss is better. The final boss has a new fa phase added in. The final boss also has a new texture. I, I, I feel like a lot of people forget to mention that part. What, when we get to the jewel at the end, he has like a different, like a more detailed uh, texture as well. I, mi I might have like not even mentioned that in my review, but I at least showed them back to back so you could tell the difference for yourself. I feel like any language is a tonal language if things like sarcasm exist in that language. Uh... Well, the, the people joke that Japan doesn't understand, like... They explain sarcasm as sometimes Americans lie, and it's funny for some reason. That's what I've heard. <laughs> but surely, surely, uh... Japanese people use sarcasm at times. Uh, whoops. Jeez, I just keep falling off. You know what? Let me change the perspective here. There we go. Oh, I missed still. Oh, wait, hang on. I could do that. That's what I should have did the whole time. I think the ice blocks are pretty much the same as the normal blocks, unless you... Stop. Oh, jeez. Oh, no, now we're so far away. What happened? You know what? Screw this. Screw this! Oh, I was still too far away. Is the boss another clown? No, it's this evil gem that absorbed Wario's greed to, to resurrect itself. Uh, I used to have an original copy of this, then I sold it just to hang out with some girl. Oh no! Yeah, this game's a little pricey. It's not like super expensive, but it is kind of up there. Uh, it's probably gonna go up in price. I was lucky enough to get a copy of this off of eBay for really cheap because the game, it was listed as not working. And I just took a gamble. I looked at the pictures and I said, I think I can make this game work. And I rebuffed, I, uh, I sanded down and rebuffed the disc. Uh, and I freaking got it to work. I fixed it. I was so proud of myself. Whoops. Maybe sarcasm exists in anime only in Japan. Maybe that's how it works. The director of the game said one of the programmers was very dedicated to finishing the final boss for this game and that's why this version exists. 
Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because you could just tell something's missing. So, it, you, they, they must have been very aware of that. So I appreciate that they went, went through the trouble. You know what? You could probably jump around these if you do it right. Like that. Oh geez, never mind. The hitbox is pretty big there. I will say maybe another one of the game's flaws is that it's too lenient. There really isn't too much of a reason for you to be too careful. Because even if I lose all my hearts, it's like, oh well, I could just pay money and keep going. I mean, maybe theoretically you could run out of money at a certain point, but I've never come close. Is there a ladder over there? Oh, that is a ladder. Okay, do we have enough of these? Let's see. This might be the first time we don't have enough. Oh, nope, we have enough. Alright, we're going to go right to the boss then. Well, let's see what's up here first. I can't help my curiosity. You could flip broken games off of eBay with that skill set. Yeah, it, it, it's surprising that uh, how many discs can be fixed uh, that way. Usually the rule of thumb that I've found from research is if a disc is really scratched up badly, there's a good chance you can sand it down and rebuffer it because the actual data of the disc is so far down into the disc that usually the scratches isn't like scratching into the data. It's just causing the disc reader to go uneven, so it's hard to read those spots. But if your disc is see, is if a scratch is see-through, or if there's a scratch through the top of the disc, so you can see through the color, and it goes through clear, your disc is broken forever because that meant it did cut through the data. Because the data is basically right underneath the top of the disc. Oh, this is a creepy boss. Hello. Now I don't remember what his gimmick is. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. His gimmick is that I beat him up. <laughs> kind of creepy. It's like an angel baby, but it has like a freaking pentagram halo. I guess it's not actually a pentagram halo, but obviously that's what it's going for. It sh if it was gonna be a pentagram, they should have did it in the Japanese version. I, I will play Mario Wonder soon. Oh, hopefully soon. Uh, but I, I do plan on playing it, so don't you you'll worry about that. I will get to it. Oh no, Wario's dead! Dang, I guess I'm gonna have to restart. Oh wait, hang on, I can just pay money. It's like one of the only flaws of the game, really, is that they, you're able to pay for the money, but I don't care because I'm just doing a casual playthrough right now. I actually went into the boss fight with one heart, so that's not too surprising. Ow. You don't think- oh holy crap, hitting him with that made him immediately knock out. You don't think Wario has any crazy fans out there who lust over him? There's gotta be at least one, right? Freaking Star Wars lasers, get out of here. I'm gonna hit you- that's why I'm gonna hit you with this and immediately knock you out. Oh, I missed. What's creepier, this boss or the Jack Frost one? I remember that one being pretty creepy too. Why aren't they dropping coins? Did they not drop coins in this one? But Otto, I already 100%ed the game. What more do I have to prove?
<laughs> All right. Circus town time. I don't think I have the patience for no damage runs. I applaud people who do. Like that so much time and patience, but like man, that's just too stressful too. I whoops. You say no one messes with Wario, but I feel like a lot of people actually mess with Wario. So now, remember those dinosaurs where it was very obvious that the skeletons were a palette swap? These are also technically palette swaps of the dinosaur, but they actually look very different. They just have similar body types. So that's what I say that at least they're creative about their palette swaps. It's not literally just dinosaurs every time. So that's fun. They, they clearly had a lower budget than a lot of first-party Nintendo games, but they're using it, you know, as creatively as possible. Ooh. What is that, a flugelhorn? That says... Rampa. 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 Rapa. No, rap... Rapa. Not Rampa, it's it's just Rappa. R A P P A, I believe. Someone look up R A P P A and tell me what that is. Rappa. Is that what they call a trumpet? That's a that's probably a loan word from somewhere, but not English. Oh, I'll show you another fun thing about this game. A lot of games implement a, uh, if you're standing near a cliff, there's like a little you're about to fall off animation. And they just infinitely about to fall off. Look at what Wario does. I'm not going to touch the controller once I get into the animation. Just look at what he does. <laughs> he actually falls off. He does that all by himself. If you stay on the edge for too long. People always say, oh, Metal Gear Solid games get so realistic about the things they do. It's so detailed. Yeah, but do they do the Wario falling off the ledge for real maneuver? Look at him go. Okay, so Trumpet is Rappa. Rappa. Interesting. See, we're all learning something today. Another wall barrier. Oh, I have to throw an enemy into it. I can't just punch it. Whoops. Oh, I missed. One more ought to do it. Look how small it is now. There we go. Ow. I, I didn't wait long enough. Oh, I missed! Imagine if Snake had to fight Wario. <laughs> um... That's just Smash Brothers, ain't it? Okay... Alright, so I could use those balls to get over there, or... No, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't... I couldn't reach it without it, I don't think. You have to do that. But sometimes you could cheese it. If you really feel like it. Wario Circus! Why is it my circus, but everyone's against me? Whoops, wrong way. Ah, let go of me!
Yeah. Oh, it's a bugle. Okay, yeah, that does look more like a bugle. I am starting to skip more stuff here, but that's just because, whoops! I mean, I went down here on purpose for that button. It was very important, you see. Like, I know there's an area down there I didn't even go to, but... We're just kind of focusing on going through the game at the moment. I'll probably do the first two worlds today. Why did I do that again? And then the, uh... The worlds three and four, uh, next time. If I was really rushing, I could probably do it all in one night, but I'm just going to take my time. I have I, I have some other stuff I need to do anyway, so I figured this be a shorter stream. Plus, if I keep falling off, it's going to extend our time even more. Oh my god! What the heck's wrong with me? I'm, I'm, I need to stop there and wait. I, I'm like rushing is my problem. Also, I could move the camera over so I can, like, see where it is. That's what I should have been doing. Oh my gosh, that was an accident. I just walked off. <laughs> I'm making a fool out of myself. Uh... Yeah, eighth time's the charm. It happens. There we go. See? Sometimes you just need a little patience. So this, the treasures in this uh, area, the theme is obviously instruments. So, tambourine. It's a tambourine. Look, it became a Crash Bandicoot level where you're running, running towards the screen. I barely escaped in time. This is your favorite speedrun? Well, I'm glad you, you feel that way. Oh, these clouds are very... You, you can touch them for like a split second and then... gold pieces have we gotten for our eight? I like when the statue's like partially completed so you just have this like incompleted Wario monstrosity like a floating mustache. His nose and mustache is just one of is comparable to one of his limbs apparently. Yeah we're gonna be skipping more and more treasures as we get farther in, because the later worlds do take a bit longer to find everything. I remember the last level alone taking me so long to complete everything. I don't know why this alligator is just like a baby, but what can you do? Oh no, I shouldn't have went down there. Oh, I'm a fool. I don't know why I... Because now I can't go... Oh, after I beat them, I could probably climb back out. Because there's ladders right there. It was still foolish of me. The only way you could hurt this thing is by using its own children against it. How messed up is that? This game makes me think about the only thing that was good about the 3D feature of the 3DS was depth perception. Really helps with platformers. Okay, how do I get up there? 
Not that I need to go up there. I keep talking about skipping stuff and then I'm and then I'm like concerned about going back. Oh my god! Holy crap. War just got freaking flung across the screen. No, look at me. Beat up the babies. All right, I'll beat this baby up just for you. Like how when they lose their club, they just revert to going on all fours. Oh, this is a fun one. Look at this, by the way. It's just an arrow you can beat up for whatever reason. So the trick to this is uh, momentum or inertia? No momentum. Oh no, I didn't time it right. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm, I'm letting go too late. So you want to let go right before you hit the... Jesus, I'm... Once you get it, you get it, but I'm just getting back into the... There we go. I actually probably should have adjusted the camera there to make it easier to land, but... R... R button... R button... Whoops, why did I do that? I came from the left. I think in the Japanese version the... Let me check actually. I feel like it is in the same box every time. Oh, nope. We immediately disproved it. It's just a weird coincidence then that they've been landing in the same places. Sparta... I was getting ready to make a, another thing to add on that's different in the Japanese version. Let go of Mario! He didn't do anything. He's innocent. Um... You know what? We're not trying to get the best ending. If some uh, if some wood nymphs don't survive, then who am I to judge? Who am I to be judged? Alan Bake 3 is out? What? Oh my goodness. Oh my god, I forgot about the, the bears in the cages. Oh no, lions. They're not bears, they're lions. gold pieces do we have? We're not going to find all of them this, in this one anyways because we already skipped some of the uh, areas that probably have them. So that's fine. Whoops. Whoops. This game is a timeless classic. Even if Nintendo doesn't realize it. Uh -huh. 
Nondescript beastly creature. What's riding on those elephants? They look like anteaters or something. Okay. What the heck? Hmm. I've already been up there. Oh, I'll just jump down here. <laughs> I'm a fool. I don't remember how to get through that gate because it looks like they want me to hit spots on the front of it. So how would that work? I have another dumb idea. There's gotta be another way around that. Uh... Jesse Binkman's in it? Oh man. Now I gotta play it. Oh, here we go. There we go. Saxophone. Let's see if it says the same thing here. It just says sax. It says six. 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 So they just call it sax for short in Japanese, it looks like. We're all learning today. Whether you like it or not, you're learning a thing or two. Jeez, you guys have a lot of health, don't you? Whoops. Yeah, that's fine. Egg salad. Or his favorite catchphrase for some reason. Oh my god. And that. There we go. Yeah, this game is pretty violent, you know? I heard it was banned in like 30 countries due to the intense violence, actually. I wonder if I could just spin them into it, let's see. Oh, nope, I can't get too close to it. Alright, one more. Aha, got him. Can I kill this though? There we go. Now I can... There we go, and I think that activated this. Which activates that. Oh, I'm a dingus though, because now that I came down here, I have to do this. I'm a fool. Oh, two for one that time, at least. You know, this gate's smaller, though, so... The target's a little bit easier to hit, I think. Oh, let's not jinx myself here. Excellent! Whoops! Boy, I was almost out of health. What's he gonna do? There we go. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I didn't wait for the gate. But it's okay. Because in Wario World, you don't really die. You just spend a little money. Oh, all the money vanished. The, like the extra money that was on the ground. 
elephant violence. Damn it. Now this might actually... I'm trying to remember if this is where... I, I, I think the favorite boss isn't until... My favorite boss isn't until... After this, I think. Because this one is the one with the circus... Ball people, right? Uh, let's see, what is this? Taiko. Taiko! Like that one game about the drums, right? Taiko something? We're probably we gotta be almost to the boss at this point. Oh boy, look at me go. Uh, a weird one. What the hell is this room? Hang on a second. You know what you could do, by the way? You could just say, screw it. Oh! <laughs> well, I didn't even get hurt. Okay, I guess that works too. Yeah, sometimes you can just cheese it. Okay, that's a dead end. So the boss must be up here somewhere. There it is, speak of the devil. Now I think we should have enough red diamonds to just go right to it. Yeah, okay, so these are the this one's pretty creepy too, actually. It doesn't look creepy, but you'll you'll see in a second. I'm a number one. I'm a number one. Now you can see his real face. Not quite as cute, is it? Look at us go. Oh no! Oh no, I'm an idiot! That's fine. Everything's fine. Just pile drive you. Warrior has some like really weird uh... Oh wait, I was supposed to follow him. Whoops. That's okay. Uh, Wario has some really weird idol animations in this, like his face and nose and eyes and mustache, like, bounce all over the place. Oh no, I didn't beat him up in, in time. Yeah, I need to focus on this. Alright. Why does he have a birthday candle in his head? a little strange. Money. Oh damn it. That's fine. This boss is actually really easy. It's like, okay, if you don't follow him, it's fine. You just go over here for safety and then you just wait for him to come back. Ah. 
Alright, I'll just wait. Oh, the faces are getting worse. They're starting to deform. Oh no! I fell. It's fine. There we go. Finish him off with the pile driver. Yeah, I don't know. Nintendo should have just canceled this and then, uh, can or canceled Mario Wonder and just re released this instead. Now, Mar Mario Wonder looks fun. I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll try it. Uh,. I'll have to get to trying that at some point. And and I love it. We beat a boss and we get to go straight to another boss. How fun is that? Because now we get to fight the big boss of World 2. I should stream Warland for hard mode and try to get all S ranks. That would... That would be tricky. I love Wario Land 4 and I 100%ed it. For, I, I mean, I got all the music discs, which is kind of basically 100%ing it. Uh, but I didn't do it on hard mode or anything. Yeah, like you just get him to hurt himself. That's the trick with this boss. How great's that? But sometimes they spit out golden orbs. This looks familiar. You probably recognize it from my review of this game, honestly. Because I think this was one of the, the clips I used was fighting this boss. Oops. Honestly, it looks like this boss might have some new textures as well in the Japanese version. Ow. Yeah, this is literally why are you hitting yourself, the boss. <laughs> literally. I also remember there being more slowdown when I played the original version of this game. But it might also be because I was playing on an actual, off the actual GameCube disc, but th th this I'm emulating because I'm playing the Japanese version. So maybe it, it, there's no slowdown because it's an emulation. Usually there's the opposite problem with emulations. I've got it. We missed one wood wood nymph. All right. All right. Dang, we haven't even hit the two hour mark yet. It's not quite Walter time. I might get a head start on world three and do the first level. Because I know the second half of the game will probably take a little bit longer. Probably not nearly as long as when I did the 100% run, but... Probably wouldn't hurt to get a little head start. Yeah, coins basically are Wario's blood, if you think about it. Oh yeah, the snow level. I think we'll do the snow level pretty quickly, actually. It's just when you when you want to go back to get every single treasure and every and gold piece, this level could take a while because of the slope parts, which you'll see in a second. What the heck is that? Point. So this part. Oh boy. I'm already missing so much. <laughs> but it's fine, because we're not we're not trying to get everything this time.
You remember this from the review? Yup, I definitely made sure to show off this level. Well, look at these. They're like freaking like skiing yetis. Like what? What, what is happening here? Ow. Oh. Okay. I guess I have to fight this guy real quick. This is an interesting type of uh, mini in it, like mini boss because you have to use this in a creative way. When you tombstone the enemy, his head shoots up into the air and then you hit his weak spot, which is fun. Also, a friggin' angler fish in the snow. Who thought that up? Using the shadow of the antenna to guide you, although I kind of... There we go. It becomes a bullet hell for, for a few seconds. There we go. We'll check up here again. Oh, okay. That's as far up as it goes. Oh my god. They're, they're not doing any damage to me though. They're just bumping into me. That's funny. Oh, another skiing part. Ah, oh, see, there was a gold piece up there. There's so much stuff that's easy to miss. Look at these mini snowmen. With their little bucket hats and their mittens. And now there's slightly larger snowmen with slightly larger bucket hats and mittens. And now there's giant snow golems with clubs. And icy beards. Now it's a snowman Blastoise, because why not? I think the more people you kill there, the more enemies you kill, you, the more coins you get in the chest at the end. Oh, these guys are neat. Because you can grab them, plant them, and then you use them as a platform. Isn't that fun? I need to make sure I, I'm getting some red diamonds here, because... Okay, hopefully the timing works out. Dummy, I landed on the spring but without grabbing my goodies. That almost never happens. Give me a big enemy so I can... Do I need to punch it? There we go. I can't believe I did that. We had gotten like a good timing on our first try and everything. Ooh, I think it's a bad timing now. Yeah, ah, oh, that sucks. Hang on. I'm gonna have to go back.
Was it this one? There we go. Okay, now this time, don't land on the spring, Wario. Here's responding to me. Okay, I guess I won't land on the spring. Alright. Really one of the red diamonds. We don't need to worry about anything else, really. I think I only have one red diamond, don't I? Eesh. Probably need like four or five for this boss. I didn't realize you could break these for the longest time. There you go. Look at that, there's just a little, little turtle underneath. Who would have guessed? Oh jeez, you gotta wait a bit. Not quite like Mario Galaxy where you can run sideways for too long. Oh jeez. There we go. Right, was there something else down there? Oh there is something else down here. Whoops! Unicorn's lair. So much water in this one. There we go. Alright, let's try that again. leading me up oh, there we go perfect you could just cheat you don't have to wait for them all to flash it's supposed to be like a memory game but you could just hit them as you see them Okay, so this is just more treasure spots. Shattering those is pretty satisfying though. I don't need to save this guy, but I'm gonna be nice. Oh, the blubber boys. Gotta be careful, they'll bounce you straight off. Oh. I thought it was one of the... I thought I was hanging on the side of it. Okay, there's another red diamond spot up there. No, I don't own a Wario plush. I have a Luigi one. And I have a shy guy. The 
Shy Guy actually won in a raffle. Oh my god, this guy is... Can I just use this? Oh, it worked! I used the bomb to go in. Good. Because that guy was being annoying. Oof, that was close. Alright, I think we have four red diamond. Which might be enough to fight the boss. But we might, we might need five. There's a chance of that. Okay, let's let's do this one just in case. Give that two thousand plus piece Lego Bowser. I think Sword got that too, which is pretty nuts. Especially because Lego is expensive. I didn't even realize how expensive LEGO was until recently. Right, I think we definitely should have enough to fight the boss at this point. Ah, I was hoping we'd be at the boss, but... Because it's going to be Walter time any minute now. I have a 14 karat gold Wario statue. How did you know about my 14 karat gold Wario statue? Lego Wario. Money. Okay, we gotta be close to that boss. Oh, this guy again? Alright. Bullet Hell. Imagine a Bullet Hell Wario game. Oh no, I dropped my... my little barrel man. Give me a new barrel man. Hit him three times already? Yeah, I missed. There we go. Whoa, he's. Holy crap. Okay, this one definitely is taking extra hits. Why'd they make this one so strong, I wonder? He's gotta be guarding the boss door, it's the only explanation. About time. One more. Oh, jeez. Health. Nope. You lost Lego E God's hair for two months. <laughs> Poor Egad didn't have his little tuft of hair that whole time. Go ahead and give me that health, why don't you? Okay, there's the boss door. Oh, whoop, whoop. I almost freaking went back to the start of the level. It's almost Walter time, so I'm just gonna go right into the boss fight. I would normally do this, 
area as well, but I want to make sure we can finish up before I gotta go take her a wall too. Now this boss, I remember it took me a little bit to figure out how to fight him properly. But this is a weird one, look at him, his head is so big. Oh, he's swollen. He has some sort of sickness. So he floats around, he swims around actually. So the trick is... You want to trigger these volcanoes to erupt as he's floating over them, but okay, yeah, there's a delay to it, though. So you want to trigger it a lot sooner. A, a lot more ahead of time, rather. So I'm going to wait until he's coming over here. Now that should get him. There we go. So now I can beat him up. He's not swollen, he's just holding his breath. Uh, maybe he's swollen because he's been holding his breath. Go, go, go! Get him! That's right, he does have the Medusa stare. You don't want to get caught in his Medusa stare, care stare, care bear, whatever. <laughs> get back here. Oh, he runs away, that's right, if you don't catch him. He escapes your wrath. Oh, here we go. You don't want to look, you want to, I'll just show you. Here's what happens if you look at him. It's pretty terrifying. Oh no. Ah. He was jealous about being swollen, so he made Wario swollen and he, floats you over a volcano, I guess. I don't think I ever saw that as a kid, because I just knew not to look at him. Funny how he gets hurt if you trigger the volcano, but... If he drops in himself, he's fine. I bet you as a kid I also didn't know you could hurt him this way, honestly. I probably just kept waiting for him to drop in himself. I had to make a educated guess. Why did you? Why did he? Why did he drop down and run towards me? That dummy. He just gave me a free hit. Perfect. Ah! He tried to run away that way, and then he ran right back into it. But I didn't. I didn't get him fast enough. That was my bad. I gotta be standing closer by him. There we go. He's done. Goodbye. Alright. Okay, so I think that was a good head start for the second half of the game. Because I know those levels are going to take a little longer. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up for the night and then next time we'll finish this up uh and you'll get to see the Jap japan exclusive boss phase for the final boss but all right that's gonna be it for tonight thanks everyone for joining have a good one <laughs>